Welcome back to my channel, Tessa Kohler Art. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to develop your signature style. Signature style pretty much means that it's a style in which that is unique to you. The way in which you work, how you make your marks and strokes, depending upon what medium that you use, it really all depends on what appeals to you and producing artwork that have people saying, I know who produced that. Developing your signature style takes practice, it takes patience and time and a lot of hours of creating and experimenting and exploring. If you've gone to many gallery exhibitions and if you're really interested and inspired by other artists' work, you'll see that like a Van Gogh painting, for instance, has very specific strokes, a very specific style that is you know, that is true to him that you can tell just by looking at one of his pieces that Van Gogh did that painting. His strokes are very specific and that is one way to develop your artistic style. Just how you use your medium, how you use your brush, how you use your pencil. It doesn't matter what medium you use really, it matters how you use it. Developing your signature style does take a lot of time and a lot of art pieces and it also takes a lot of not just practice but you don't want to find yourself obsessing about finding your style. This is actually something that happens, it happens over time. It's a process that will eventually emerge the more pieces you create. The way you colorize a portrait in color, for example, like here, I'm adding a lot of brighter colors and I'm being very conscious with my marks, the direction I'm making my marks and how they're showing up on the paper, how I'm using the paint and mixing it with the water, just being very conscious of all those details, but at the same time, applying my own unique flair to it. I didn't want these videos to be too sped up. I want you to be able to actually see what I'm doing. See how I am applying these paint strokes and the paint brushes I'm using and the colors I'm mixing and how thoughtful I'm being about making sure that this piece really looks like something I created. The next time you produce any art piece in any medium, it can be watercolor or acrylics or even pencil and ink, you're always doing something that is unique to you. It's really about how you apply the medium and keep that in mind when you're working. And in all of the pieces that you do over time, they're just going to look like they are your art pieces. You'll also develop a unique quality that will also be very recognizable over time. Like I said, it's all about time and the amount of pieces that you produce. But most importantly, it's always going to be about quality. It's going to be about what you think is appealing and how you go about creating the marks and creating the compositions so that it all speaks to you, but also it's going to speak to anybody who views your piece. Anybody who has their own perceptions and interpretations of what it is they're looking at, what it is they're seeing, and how they're perceiving the piece that you've created. <laughs> 